Good evening, and welcome to evening prayer for Friday, May 27th. Let me give you some information before we begin. Our service will begin in the Book of Common Prayer, Evening Prayer, Rite 2, and it's found on page 116 is where I'm going to begin today. Uh, the psalm to appointed for today is 91, and it is found on page 719. The Gospel is according to Matthew, uh, chapter, book, uh, chapter 7, verses 22 through 27, and our colic today is for the sixth Sunday in Easter. Let us take a moment to reflect, and I'll begin. And I shall begin. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure lightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified throughout all the worlds. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 91, and it's found on page 719 in the Book of Common Prayer. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter, and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes only have to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give you his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet, because he is bound to me in love, Therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson today is a reading from Matthew, chapter 7, verses 22 through 27. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evildoers. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them 
will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on the house, but it did not fall because it had not been founded on rock. Or because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell and great was its fall. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we'll say the Nunc Dimittis, also known as the Song of Simeon. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we'll say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let's choose uh, suffrages A today. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us from the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The collect for today is the collect for the sixth Sunday of Easter. O God, you have prepared for for those who love you, such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And we pray for the mission of our church. O oh God, you have made us of one blood, all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In our world cycle of prayer, we pray for the people of Italy, the Italian Republic. In our ecumenical cycle of prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers, members of the Methodist Church of Southern Africa. And there is a collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear son went out up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, Amen. Now let us pray for our own needs and for those of others. We have prayers for the whole human family. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. 
break down the walls that separate us, unite us in bonds of love, and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray for our church. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, we ask for your protection, care, and guidance for our church, wherever it may be in the world. Help us to be faithful, strong, and united in our love for you. Protect and care for all clergy, especially our bishops, Michael and Frank. And we thank you for our clergy, Tom, Ashton, Katie, and Becky, and Bob. Make it known to them how thankful we are to them for their guidance and teaching and their lives with us. And we pray for our country. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united peoples the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. And do with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust and need to fail. All which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And prayers for the sick. We commend to thy Father goodness all those who are afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or state. We especially pray for Don Baker, Mary Jo Busby, Mary Dennard, Anne Graham, Eileen Hutchinson, Mary Langdon, Davy Langston, Dorothy McLean, Mary Alice McDonald, Jane Sanders, Randy Siegel, and Bob Theobald. We ask that we please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their needs and giving them a patience under their suffering and a happy issue out of their affliction. And this we pray for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. We have prayers for those members in the armed forces. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care in keeping all the men and women of our armed forces at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations and give them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. And a prayer for travelers. O God, our Heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, we ask for your protection for all who travel and those who come as visitors to our island. Surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger, and bring them safely to their journey's end. Now let us end our service by saying together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your kindness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory, and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. I thank you for joining me for evening prayer. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a good week, and I hope to see you next Friday. Thank you for joining me.